Hi, in this video we'll demonstrate how to apply double opt-in in your form with Bitform. When users submit their email in your form responses, a double opt-in email is required to confirm their email. So when they subscribe to your newsletter, they need to click on an email with a confirmation link or button to confirm the validity of their email address. Integration, webhook and email notifications will not work before confirmation. First open your Bitform dashboard, create a new form if not exists already or select any form to use the double opt-in. We have previously made this form with some fields to use. Then navigate to the form setting. Then go to double opt-in. First, you have to enable the double opt-in. Please allow the double opt-in by clicking enable option. Delete the unconfirmed entries from responses after days. By enabling this option, the unconfirmed entries will be deleted from responses after the selected time. You can choose the time limit, days, as per your preference. Disable double opt-in confirmation for logged in users. By enabling this option, it will disable the double opt-in confirmation for logged in users. For example, if a WordPress user submits the form, like admin, author, editor, and others. Configure default confirmation email template. If you don't want to enable the default configure. By disabling this option, you can manually configure the double opt-in confirmation email from conditional logics. You can set the condition if you want to send a confirmation message with any condition. Don't need to disable it in the default double opt-in configuration. Leave it enable. Here you have to input the email field where you want to send the confirmation email notification, please make sure you have an email field in your form. You can customize the confirmation template of your choice with customize email template option. Edit verification messages. The user who received the double opt-in email after submitting the form needs to click on an email with a confirmation link or button to confirm the validity of their email address. After clicking the confirmation button, you will show the success or error message. You can edit this message with this option. Also, you can redirect the page confirmation or error. There are three types of verification messages under this option. Activation success. Already activated account. Invalid activation key. Also, you can redirect the page confirmation or error. After clicking the confirmation button, The double opt-in is successfully configured. Now go to your form and type some information and save. Now go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. I have already created an integration with Google Sheet to see if the data is sent before confirmation. Also check your Google Sheet. Now go to your email and confirm the double opt-in. Go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. The confirmation status will confirm after user confirmation. And also checking Google Sheets. Configure default confirmation email template. If you don't want to enable the default configure, 
By disabling this option, you can manually configure the double opt-in confirmation email from conditional logics. You can set the condition if you want to send a confirmation message with any condition. Go to settings and create a new email template for double option confirmation. I have already created two confirmation email templates for a double opt-in confirmation. We will apply those templates for two different conditions and customize the confirmation template as your own. Make sure that this link entry underscore confirmation underscore URL is included where the user clicks for confirmation. Otherwise, double opt-in will not work. Make sure that this link entry underscore confirmation underscore URL is included where the user clicks for confirmation. Now navigate to the Conditionals Logics tab. Here you can set any integration by any condition to know more about Conditional Logics. Watch our video about Conditional Logics link in the description. I'll show you send double opt-in confirmation after form submission. Now select on submitting logic by default it named as show success message. Then check record create slash edit from action run when section cause I want to run when a record creates or edits. Then check on form submit from the action effects section. If you want to send an email confirmation with a condition, then select condition from action behavior section. Now I will apply a condition. If the condition matches, then the double opt-in email and integration will work. Now I am set the condition if country field is equal to Bangladesh then it will work. Then check double opt-in from action. Select the double opt-in confirmation template just you have already created. Select the email field where the user will input their email address so the email can be sent. Set the email address from where you want to send mail to recipients. Then you have chosen the CC and BCC field if you want to send the notification to multiple email addresses. Set the email address where the user will send the reply message in response to your email notification. You can send an attachment if you have any file upload field on the form. Now add another condition by clicking Add Conditional Logic. Then check record create slash edit from action run when section cause I want to run when a record creates or edits. Then check on form submit from the action effects section. Then select condition from action behavior section. Now I will apply a condition. If the country field is equal to the United States. Send a confirmation email notification for this United States user. Then check double opt-in from action. Select the double opt-in confirmation template just I have already created for United States user. Select the email field where the user will input their email address so the email can be sent. Set the email address from where you want to send mail to recipients. Set the email address where the user will send the reply message in response to your email notification. Now go to your form and type some information in save.
Now go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. Now go to your email and confirm the double opt-in. Go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. The confirmation status will confirm after user confirmation. And also checking Google Sheets. Now go to your form and submit the form with another condition. If it country field value is equal to United States, then it will send the different email template that I created for United States users. Now go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. Now go to your email and confirm the double opt-in. Go to your form responses and check the confirmation status. The confirmation status will confirm after user confirmation. And also checking Google Sheets. Please ensure that the SMTP is configured from the app settings option to ensure that the verification email will be sent. Otherwise, the verification email will not send. To set the SMTP, read the SMTP documentation. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.